Hi, I'm Frankie Lovato Jr. and um, I want to show you a technique in switching your whip from your right hand to your left hand. If you'd seen my last video, I did a demonstration when a jockey wants to get his whip from the down position to the up position. Well, part of this is, is it's also going to be a part of switching whips um, because of your reining and also rhythm is a really important part about uh, making all these technique techniques work very smoothly and effectively. So. I want to give you a quick little demonstration we showed you. We're riding, riding in rhythm, and taking your whip from the down position to the up position. And one thing I want to—I didn't get to cover last time, and a good friend of mine, Amber, Amber brought this to my attention, um, which is it's something natural for me, but something I want to explain to you, that when turning your whip from the down position to the up position, it's important that you do it in the rhythm of the, of the horse's motion. And if you notice, I'll do it in slow motion that when I go to turn my whip up, it's going to go up and around, all on that rhythm. So I'll do it in, in normal speed, riding along. So if you got to see that, it was all a part of the rhythm, getting your whip from the down position to the up position. And the reason why that's so important, that when you're riding and you're going 40 miles an hour and the wind's blowing, uh, that just taking your whip and trying to trying to pick it up into this position, it's likely going to blow out of your hand or you're going to lose it or someone else can come by and uh, knock it out of your hand rather easily, even if it's just an accident. So um, the rhythm is really important and this is going, the rhythm is going to help you with, with having the strength and the momentum that you need to keep your whip and tighten your hand, tighten your fingers and get it up and over. Okay, now the next thing we're going to show you is switching your whip. This is going to be switching from the right to the left. Now you can do this two ways. You can do it with your whip in the up position or you can do it with your whip in the down position. If I, if I chose to, if my horse may be uh, lugging to the inside, I may choose not to turn my whip up on the outside because it will only encourage him to go over further. So what I might do instead of turning my whip up in, in the right hand, I might go ahead and keep it in the down position and I might slide it through to the up position in my left hand. And I'm going to show you a close-up of that in just a minute. Um, the other th other way technique I'm going to show you with a close-up view is turning your whip to the up position while riding. You're going to take your right hand with your whip. You're going to lock into your cross and pull your hand your your whip through the handle up. Your your whip already in the up position, and, and you're ready to go to the whip. Okay, so now we're going to take you to some close-up views. Okay, now I'm going to give you a close-up shot of switching my whip from the down position over to the left hand. That's the first example I'm going to give you. So I'm riding my horse. I'm going to do this in normal speed. And uh, I may, my horse may be wanting to lean to the inside, so I don't want to turn my whip up. I'll keep it down, and I'll slide it through this way. I'm going to say, I'll say that again. I'm going to do this in slow motion this time. I'm riding my horse, and I want to keep it in the down position, and I want to switch it to my left hand. And, and, they, and have it in the up position. And the way I did that was I've got my half cross here. My reins are bridged in a half cross. I'm taking my whip. I'm going to lock my thumb and my middle finger is going to start. It's going to grab that cross and I'm not going to clamp down on this yet. I'm going to be riding in rhythm and I'm going to leave enough air in there to pull this, this whip through. Now I'm clamped down and I've got my horse under control. Okay, I'll, I'll show you that again. I'll do it in fast speed and slow speed. This is, this is changing whips with my step in down position. I didn't do a very good job there with, with the rhythm. But it's important that you maintain that rhythm. Okay, and then I can go to whipping my horse. Okay, now I'm going to show you the same thing with this switching your whip with your whip in the down position to the up position and over. This is a more typical scenario that you'll see. So I'm riding, I'll do this in normal speed. The rhythm with twirling your whip in the up position. My whip's in the up position, and I switch it to the left hand. Now I'm gonna show you how I did that in slow motion. Very much like the, uh, with the whip down, it's kind of the same thing, except I'm gonna have a lot less whip to, to pull through my reins. Slow motion, I got my half cross, the bridge rein in my left hand, whip's in the up position, I'm going to lock my thumb and my middle finger in those reins. I'm going to leave a little bit of air in there during that rhythm. Pull my whip through. 
clamp down on my reins. Now I've got my horse under control again. Now for some reason, I lose a little bit of hold, I lose a little bit of rein. Now's a really dangerous time to try to whip your horse. So try to regroup before you, before you whip. Try to get your hands back together and get your, your horse together before you ever consider going to the whip. So that's switching your whip from the right hand to the left hand.